plaintiff, Jennifer Humble, says dating the defendant was a huge mistake because he often smoked crack in their home, despite his claims of being sober. Jennifer says as a result of the defendant's crack use, he became aggressive and verbally abusive, and she's suing him today for the value of a car. Defendant Scott Hobbs claims he reconnected with Jennifer after not seeing her for 20 years, and two days later, she moved in with him. Scott claims three weeks later, Jennifer quit her job and wanted him to support her, which caused a lot of problems in their relationship. Start with you. I'm here today because dating Mr. Hobbs was just really a big mistake that I've made in my life. Um, in the beginning of our relationship, he did disclose to me that he had been a crack addict for 10 years, currently clean and sober. Yeah. It wasn't too long into the relationship that it was introduced into our, our living situation, our lives. Um, he was abusive. He was demeaning. What do you mean introduced? Um, he, he physically would bring it into the home. He and would do what with it? He would smoke it. All right, then. I'm he sorry. became a crackhead again. <laughs> OK. <laughs> See, when you put it so nice, people don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I was about to feel sorry for him. And he probably smoking now. You, <laughs> no, sir. You're not smoking anymore. No, when sir. you stop? Um, it's been a few years. And I feel sorry if you relapsed. If you've been addicted in the past and you recovered and you've done your best and you've relapsed, I feel sorry for you. It's the folks that come in here that just still smoking and won't stop. <laughs> and won't I understand that, Your Honor. For. I, I do understand that, Your Honor. I understand addiction also has relapse involved. Um, the problem with, with the relationship is it became, um, I think, the, the usage caused a lot of trust issues, lying disappearing for hours at a time. Uh, Only hours? Hours. It oh, was hours. Well, you didn't relapse that bad. It was hours. Um, How long is it? Days. Days. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you missing for days. <laughs> you wasn't that bad. That might have been weed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> weed, you just smoke and you might fall asleep for a couple of hours. <laughs> then you get up and go home. <laughs> Stop by a gas station, get you some candy, <laughs> and some snacks. <laughs> Go ahead, man. I just feel like um, all the deception led to a complete breakdown in the relationship. Ultimately, um, there was a lot of verbal abuse. Um, I would, he would kick me out of the apartment, let me back in the next day. Really? Yes. Set my stuff physically outside. I would move out and be allowed to come back the next day. Um, did there, you ever go to the authorities on him? I did call the police one time during a violent episode. Um, basically, you physically violent towards you? No, if not towards me. I felt like eventually it would lead to that punching mm -hmm. walls, throwing things, you know, destroying my property. Okay. Um, Nothing funny about that, sir. Did any of that happen? Let me hear from you. Some of that is true. As far as putting her out, when you run into someone after 20 years of not seeing them, but maybe here and there, and you start a relationship with them, and approximately two days after you start talking to them, they move into your home. Three weeks beyond that, they quit their job of three years and start wanting to live off of you. It, that puts a strain on a relationship. So, but no, Why I was never physically- let her move in two days after seeing her. Yeah, she had no place to go. Her, where she was staying before I ran into her, once that person found out she was dating someone, he told her to get out. Dating someone as in you? Yeah. But there was never any physical violence. And I will admit that I did have a bad temper sometimes, but I take care of three children that I pay child support on every, every week, plus I pay my bills. I, I, I can't take on another, another human Dependent. being. Dependent. That's mm -hmm. right. Absolutely not. Okay. And for someone to have a job that was a good job, and just quit it. Did you quit your job? Your Honor, I did not quit. I had medical issues. When I did run back into Mr. Hobbs um, after so long, I was on medical leave from my, that current job. Um, ultimately, I did relinquish that job. Why? I was <laughs> relinquish. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I relinquish that job. That's probably the wrong word, <laughs> you like Your Honor. Job, but I like You're the way you at least try and speak. I, I did. I did. Yeah, what well, was that? How did she describe a crackhead? 
Uh, introduced to introduced crack. to my <laughs> household. Yeah, he, he introduced a foreign substance into my household. <laughs> All right, now you relinquished your job. No, you quit. I, I found out. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I found like out you. gracefully. I, like you. I, I was <laughs> okay. I bowed out gracefully. But why um, didn't you just take a leave? A I did. Sick I had. Leave? I did. I was on a sick leave. Okay. Um, right, two so. different times in the past. Uh, with the time okay. I ran into him, uh, within a four-month period. Okay. I was let's talk about issues. the car you're suing him about. Yes, Your Honor. Um, I I did lose my license. Um, I owned a 1992 Jeep Wrangler um, mm -hmm. that I did bring into the relationship. Mm -hmm. um, I did receive a letter stating that my license was being suspended and I could not register that vehicle no longer in my name, tags, anything of that nature. Um, Mr. Hobbs and I agreed that we would put it in his name in order to get us to and from work. Mm -hmm. I did obtain a job at his company. Good. We were working together. We were going to church. We, he had a young daughter that we would go pick up. We yeah. needed a vehicle and he did not have one. Um, our agreement was though, at any given time, per se, I left the relationship. That vehicle was to be signed back over to me. Mm -hmm. And when, you know, we, I do have a promissory note that Let's Mr. Hobbs wrote himself and we both signed you regarding signed that. You signed it as well? I'm sorry? You signed it? We both signed it. Okay, good. The 92 Jeep Wrangler, white in color, belongs to Jen. Oh boy, it's in my name and I will sign it over as soon as she pays to title and tag it. All right, did you pay the title and tag it? Your Honor, um, the last time I did call him regarding the vehicle uh, was last summer. Uh, I knew I couldn't put it in my name, but my daughter needed a vehicle. I was able to pay for the tag, for the title, and he did okay. refuse to do that. Let's hear from you, sir, what happened? As far as that goes, I don't remember that conversation whatsoever. Once she left, once, once she quit working for the, the, at the job that I got for her at the company that I worked for, it was about six months before I heard anything from her. And it was an anonymous call from a, from a, a number that I didn't recognize. And being a phone that I get customers calling, I answered it. And when I did, she simply said, hey. <laughs> and I'm like, who is this? And when she told me, I said, what do you want, you know? And that was basically as far as it went, other than asking me why I'm being nasty. Okay, now you know what she called about. Now I do know, yeah. Now you know what she wanted. But, but it never, and I, you know, I'm not dumb. I, I, it, it very well could have been that, but it was six, eight months later. You gave her a time limit in which to get her car no, back from you? No, all I told her was we were struggling for money because I was laid off. She was laid off due to the working at the same company as I do. We get, I get laid off three months out of the year normally. So I live on unemployment. Out of unemployment comes child support, taxes. So that's basically 50% of my unemployment. By myself, I can survive on that. With someone else, it's virtually impossible. So there was a title loan commercial came on TV. She thought it was a good idea. We checked into it. Interest rates were through the roof, but it would have got us through a 30-day period until we went back to work and had checks coming in. So reluctantly, her and I cleaned the vehicle up, went down there, applied for the loan. Of course, it was in my name, so I had to be the one to do all the paperwork. I was solely responsible for everything, so that's what I did. And throughout the, I don't know, 20 or so payments that I made, on a $700 loan turned out to be 2,800 due to interest, roughly. And that was partly my fault because I could have went in there with her help. What was the agreement on the repayment of the loan? That we would pay it off within 30 days. Together? Yes. What percentage? 50-50. Ma'am, did you all agree? Your Honor, we did not have loan? an agreement on how the loan was to be paid back. He, he did um, get the loan, it was in his name. Mm -hmm. Um, he many times said to me, I will take care of this loan. Okay. There was no I, I, written agreement or any kind of an agreement. Let me ask you that. Did you ever say, I will pay some on this loan? He knew I could not pay some so on that loan. So no. no, the answer is no. Okay, but you were on unemployment like he was, right? I was not on unemployment. I she didn't was, get unemployment like he did. She had no money coming in. 
No. All right, so then you couldn't expect her to pay, and she wouldn't, as she says. She wouldn't promise to pay something if she has no money coming in. We were going back to work in March, so we knew we would have both paychecks coming in by the time Did the you go pay back to was work due. in March? I went to back to work in March. Right, so why didn't you determine that you should help pay then? I ended up not staying at that job, but maybe two more months after that. But you know when the, you started that you would have money. Why didn't you believe that you should pay when you started? It wasn't that I didn't believe. He always told me he would take care of the loan. Okay, and who kept the car? He did. did. You used it 100%? Yes. Nope. Nope. <laughs> going to work, grocery stores, church. All right, and where's the car now? Uh, it got wrecked over the winter. Going down the highway, hit a patch of ice. All right, what was the value of the car? Anyone have the value I of the, the car? I have the blue book. Blue book, 2941. Divide that in two. Ma'am, I do believe that you shared uh, the use of the car. Therefore, I'm going to grant you half of 14, the car. 1470. 1470 is your, your judgment, ma'am. Yes. I just make one, one mm-hmm. point, please. Yes. Um, for him to say that he got me to and from in the vehicle, I had to get my own way to work. He would refuse to take me to the store. He would refuse. It, it, the relationship had gotten pretty bad at that point towards the end. And I would have to get my own way to the office where we both How'd you together. get there? I, I would have a girlfriend pick me up. My mother would pick me up or take me to work. It, it was a toss up every day whether I was going to get to and from work. You never used the car at all? No, I could not. I had no driver's license. I never drove that vehicle. No, driving you around. You say you did. I did drive her around, sir. Of course I did. I mean, there probably were times that I said no, but she was a very bitter individual, you know? And I had to work with her. She scheduled all my calls at work, so it's, I had to deal with her all day. The last have, thing I wanted to do... What does being was, bitter have anything to do with it? Well, the last thing I really wanted to do was have to sit in traffic jam on my way home after arguing with her throughout the day on the phone. So, yeah, occasionally she I, would have to get a ride. I would get left at the job and he would take okay. off in the vehicle. So for those times she had to get a ride, yes, I'm going to grant her some more money. How about that? <laughs> so your judgment <laughs> is 2500 instead of what I mentioned earlier. Judgment for the plaintiff for the time Times you had to get another ride. Thank you, If Your that's Honor. what he wants to claim. <laughs> Have a good day. I'm just glad it's over. I can move on. Thank you. That's exactly what I was going to say, word for word. Closure. Closure.